To create fall pumpkins with panache, try this. Who says you have to carve a pumpkin to have fun at Halloween? This lace-inspired pumpkin may look tricky to make, but it's really just a simple stenciling technique. So to start, I've purchased some paper doilies at my local craft store that will fit the size of the pumpkin that I'm going to use here. Now, I also have some black acrylic paint and a can of repositionable spray mount, and I love this stuff. It's so easy to use. You just spray it on, and it keeps the doily in place while you're stenciling, but then it also lets you lift off the doily when you're done. Then you'll also need one of these small stencil brushes to create the intricate detail. So now I've already cut out the center of my doily and fit it nicely over the pumpkin like this. So to get started, you're just going to take your can of repositional spray mount and spray the back side of the doily. You want to make sure you get quite a bit on the end of the doily for it to stay in place on your pumpkin. All right. And then you're just going to carefully put it over the top of your pumpkin and smooth it down into place like this. Put a little bit of black paint in your dish and you're going to just start stenciling. So dip it into the paint and then just dab it into the open areas of your doily. And I think it's better to use a little bit of paint and not a lot. It's better to go under than over because um, it kind of adds to the aging effect of your stencil. And then also, um, if you use too much, it might leave some blobs for your stenciling. And you know, this technique really turns your pumpkins into a work of art. And since you're not carving the pumpkins, you can keep your pumpkins all the way into Thanksgiving. And you know, I'm using a real pumpkin, but you could use an artificial pumpkin, and that would allow you to enjoy your stenciled pumpkin from year to year. Now it's easier to work in small sections with your pumpkin. That way you can kind of control the doily and your painting technique here. Like that. All right, so now just let the paint dry for a few minutes and then you're just gonna carefully remove the doily. Like that. So if you're looking for an elegant technique for your pumpkin, try this. 